That is the commander's console. This is the deputy's console right here. It's a relic of the Cold War, the Minuteman Missile Launch and Control Center and missile silo near wall that once protected a nation and then some. He had 60% of the destructive capacity of World War II on one of these missiles. Another Ranger, Kerry Davis, actually worked with the missiles at Ellsworth during the Cold War. Now he's explaining that awesome power to the public. This was a 1.2 megaton, which is about just basically 25 times more powerful than one of Hiroshima. This Minuteman sits beneath a 90-ton concrete cover that would blow off during launch. However, to send it, you had to go a few miles away to the Launch and Control Center, which sits 31 feet underground. After traveling below the Earth's surface, you must pass this door, which locked a two-man crew inside. What you see here is a blast door. It weighed eight tons. This door was to be kept closed and secured at all times because it was to protect the missileers from the effects of a nearby nuclear ground blast. Historical graffiti painted by Ellsworth employees explains the Minuteman attack. Worldwide delivery in 30 minutes or less. That missile travels at over 15,000 miles an hour, meaning it can hit a target half a world away way in less than half an hour. Switches like this were part of procedures needed for launch. The sequence also included codes. Instructions came over a speaker. These speakers would sound with what's been described as a warble tone, and when they heard that, they would prepare to write down an encoded message. Messages, often tests, made for tense moments. As one former missileer once said, it was nothing more than hours and hours of sheer boredom punctuated by seconds a panic. It would have taken two people to initiate the launch. This is just one of two keys that had to be turned simultaneously that were set 12 feet apart in order to launch. Now these machines of war are being used for learning. We want to tell the story of the Cold War and why the United States had these nuclear weapons, these missiles out here on the Great Plains, so no one would ever attack us because they knew we could retaliate. Preserving this piece of the Cold War below ground now is important for those who want to unearth our history in the future. Jennifer Dowling, Fox 7 News, near Wall.